Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to talk about the equation f of x equals 2 to the x power. Okay, now this is an exponential function. So when we graph it, all right, a lot of times we graph it, we like, I like to make a table to help see where these points are going. So if I have a table here with my x values and f of x values, we're going to pick a few table values to help us out here. So again, if I plug in negative 1 in for x, I have 2 to the negative 1 power. That comes out to be a 1 half. Right? Remember, 2 to the negative 1 power is the same thing as 1 over 2, 1 half. If I put a 0 in for x, 2 to the 0 power comes out to be 1, right? because any number to the 0 power is 1. All right. Now, if I put 1 in for x, 2 to the first power is 2, and then 2 to the second power is 4, okay? So I should have enough data points now to have a good gist of what this graph is doing, all right? Where is it going? So if I want to graph this, I have my axes here, so let's have my x-axis, and we notice all of our f of x values, or the, uh, the y-axis, they're all positive numbers. And that's one thing that's true about this equation. They're all going to be positive numbers. So let's draw axes right here. Let's go. Right, let's go right here with, okay. This is x, and here is f of x. Okay. Let's pick some values we have, well, 1 and 2. 1, 2. Let's get some heights of 1, 2, and four. And let's go with zero. And well, that's not even. That's pretty good. Negative one. This is one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's go plot some points here. Let's go plot some points of um, our function f of x. So we know at negative one we have a one half halfway between here. Right there. At zero, we have a one right there. At one, we had a two. And at two, we had a four. Okay? So what we notice about this function is that actually it will hug the line, the x axis there, hugs it, and then it starts increasing as the term goes exponentially. There we go. Okay. What we have on the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. What's going on here? We have a horizontal asymptote at um, y equals zero. So if you want to talk about this function, we see that um, as x goes to negative infinity, it approaches zero. But as it goes to positive infinity, it goes up to positive infinity. Our domain of this function, where it exists on the x-axis, our domain, our domain here is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Our range, our range values, the lowest value, right, so the domain is the most left value, the most right value of our graph. Well, um, our range deals with the lowest value possible, which is zero, but we do not include zero, right? We do not include zero because it never will actually reach zero, and it will keep going up to positive infinity. And a little note with domain and range again, if you don't know, that um, we want to put parentheses around the domain as it goes to infinity because we can't actually reach infinity, okay? We have an asymptote. at y equals zero, right? y equals zero on the x-axis. I know I drew it a little bit above, help differentiate it, but it is on the x-axis. Do we have an x-intercept? And the answer is no. There is no x-intercept here. It doesn't cross, again, the x-axis because of the asymptote, okay? Do we do have a y-intercept, though? And that y-intercept happens right here at um, y equals 1, or x equals 0. So that point is 0, comma 1 at that coordinate point. Now, 
the function is it increasing or decreasing? And this function is actually increasing. It is increasing because as we read from left to right, we see, or from negative infinity to positive infinity, as we go towards the positive side, what is our function doing? And it's always going up. It's always increasing. All right? So our function, f of x equals 2x, is always increasing. And here, hopefully, you learned how to graph this function. Data table points here are a great way to do it. A lot of times, I plot points, go and see uh, where they are to help they have a better visual of what this function is going to do.